Hey everybody, it's Weather Anko Mama. Thanks for joining me. It's so early in the morning. Forgive me, my appearance. <laughs> we can't always be all glammed all the time. Hi, princess. Hi. Say hi. Anyway, so <laughs> one of the biggest challenges, she doesn't feel like talking right now. One of the biggest challenges about being a, a mom, especially a mom of a biracial child, is hair care. And I know some people may think, oh, it's so easy. How hard can it be? Especially, you know, dealing with my textured hair. It could be a challenge too. However, in the beginning, of course, she had barely any hair. Now, it's getting there. So if you notice, she has like a little bit of some curly uh, tendrils back there. And the front is a little bit uh, straighter. I started using Johnson & Johnson's. I think that's kind of like the prerequisite and the equivalent that everyone uses, right? This stuff baby. right here. Yeah, baby. Your baby. And all it did was dry her hair out. And baby. it just, it really didn't do anything. So I went on the hunt for some baby. baby products, and I may have written about it before. I had some baby. difficult times and made some baby. not so good decisions. So I went to this health food store and picked up Nature's Baby Organics. Now, I'm not being paid to endorse this product, guys, FYI, okay? But um, the salesperson baby. did <laughs> recommend this product. And I looked on the cover. I looked on the... Uh, you know, the label there. And it had, you know, you know, white, Asian, okay. There's a little boy there. I'm not sure what he is, but I guess he can pass, right? You kinda kinda favor him a little bit. Anyway, so I decided to try the product. Now the salesperson also said it was good for my hair. I didn't want to take my hair out because this is what I do in preparation for the day. So I have it wrapped up. Um in any event, so I tried it on her hair. As you can see, and now I'm reduced to washing it once a week. And you could see that, you know, it's kind of, you know, uh, neatly combed in the front. And the curls are, like, sticking out there in the back, if you notice. And again, her hair is getting there. I know I have a ways to go, but I wanted to stick with natural, you know, organic products. And the kind of products they have in here, it's, like, just natural stuff like um, essential oil, shea butter, um... Cuckoo, or I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, some kind of nut oil. Yes. And um, this one has olive oil, shea butter, um, safflower oil, um, all these different kind of moisturizers and chamomile. Bottom line is that it had no, you know, nitrates, paraben, all that harmful stuff that can affect the texture of her hair. And that's what I was really, really concerned about. So um, it's a shampoo and conditioner. A shampoo dubs as a body wash, and the conditioner is either leave-in or rinse out. It really doesn't matter. Vanilla tangerine in it. Mm, smells good. <laughs> you really can't smell it through here, but smells really good. And so far, I like it. However, the not so good. I tried it on my hair. Ciao. Let me tell you. This thing dried my hair out, so really not for my textured hair. Um, naturally, my hair is, of course, a little bit coarse. A little bit coarser than um, Princess here, but um, you know, it's relaxed and you know, it said that it's good for all hair types, but mm, eh, not mine. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go stick with the uh, Pantene and you know, one of the brown bottles. Um, so let me know if you like it. I mean, if you want to try it, it's a little pricey, but I think it's well worth it because it does come in a 16 ounce um, container, so they're about 18 bucks a pop. I mean, hey. I didn't say it was cheap, but again, well worth it. Um, if you have any great hair care tips, let me know. I've heard of some others. I'll probably be writing about that soon. And um, can't wait to hear from you guys. Say bye. 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 <laughs>